Hello friends, welcome to another in informative video from Magvidya. Today we will discuss in details the resistance spot welding. From the name itself, we can understand that some kind of resistance is encountered in this process. So let us try to understand what kind of resistance is this. To understand uh, resistance spot welding, first we have to understand the Joule's law of electricity. It states that when current flows through a conductor, the material provides some res resistance to the flow of electrons. This results in the generation of thermal energy or heat. Usually this heat is of no use to us, but in this kind of uh, welding, we will uh, use this heat to our advantage. The setup consists of two metallic electrodes. In this welding technique, we apply uh, pressure force as well as localized heating to weld thin sheet metals. The metallic electrodes are connected to a power supply. When uh, electric current starts to flow through these electrodes, localized heating starts in the junction in between the work pieces. The heat is just sufficiently high to melt, uh, to melt the feying re region. At, at around the same time, a pressure force is applied on the electrodes. So the combination of pressure and heat um, makes the welding. Now, uh, mathematically, we can write uh, the, the, uh, the Joule's law as H is equal to I square RT, where H is nothing but the amount of heat produced, I is the current, R is the resistance, and T is the time period for which this current is flowing. Now, if we uh, see this um, uh, relation very closely, we can see that uh, the heat produced is directly proportional to the square of uh, the current. That means the current is a very dominant factor here. So usually I value is, uh, the current value is very high. Uh, next, the heat transfer Q is also a function of re resistance. Now the resistance R in this type of welding is the summation of a number of resistances. First, the resistance uh, produced in the electrodes, then in the work pieces, then in the uh, in between the con uh, contact region between the electrode and the workpiece and finally in the feying surface uh, but the resistance produced in the feying edges in between the workpiece is considerably high is very high which generates high amount of heat and this heat is used in welding the workpieces so uh, some notable points about this uh, process is uh, process are the electrodes are usually made up of high conductivity metals such as copper so that the resistance is the in the workpiece becomes very less next current flows at a very high uh, high ampere because of the reason i discussed just now next the process is a combination of pressure and heat and is used to join thin sheet metals and uh, one more important aspect uh, is uh, here we do, do not use any filler metal or flux coating Okay, and uh, these are some of the advantages as well as disadvantages of this uh, kind of spot welding. You can just pause the video and take notes if you want. So this was all about uh, the spot welding. For uh, more such videos, please subscribe Magvidya. Thank you.